You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. Good girl. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Okay, that's Kareem's what I've been very effective. We should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. So I have to find the dreamer called Corin, who is... I am really, really worried about these shady individuals now. I'm convinced they're trying to pick my pocket. Yes, I am. So yeah, um, I've got to find the dreamer called Corin, who is off in that direction. There. This was a herbalist. But I do still need to actually sell some stuff to the shopkeep. And I also think I probably could do with um, dropping some more items in my... St Actually, to be honest, I think I just should just sell things. And it is now daytime, so I'm hoping I can find craftsmen and merchants. Actually, where was the merchant? Hmm... hmm. Are you the merchant? Hello? Stop playing with your hat. Why won't he? He's he's marked as a merchant on the map. Am I? Am I? No, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong person. The merchant is. Are you the merchant? Okay. No. 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 It's someone over here. You. You. Oh God. I can't. All right, start walking. Walking is easier. Huh? No, not you. Okay. Stay longer. It's far safer One of... around. It's you, isn't it? Funny hat. I'm naked. And weird glasses. Welcome. Ha <laughs> Welcome. Fine. Look to me like a Gwent aficionado. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, I definitely still need to... Yeah, I still need to play Gwent. A game of Gwent. It's been a while, actually. I need to beat all the local merchants. I need to build my deck. And I'm going to stick with the same old deck that I've had, I think. Yes. I've been doing okay with it. I've been doing okay. I realize I'm playing Gwent on normal difficulty, though. Um, okay. Spies, decoys. Do I need that many decoys? That... There seems like too many decoys. Is is that possible? I've got a med... No. See, I can medic, decoy, medic, decoy, medic, go to I... Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this deck. Oh, actually, I, I could have replaced him. Because by himself, he's not particularly useful. Or, or one of these two. Because maybe I would have got... No, all right. Okay, so he's going for... Place next to a card with the same name, double the strength. Yeah, it's only two anyway, so... Um, let's... Well, let's just... Let's get some new cards. See what I get. I got another four and an eight. Okay. Okay, well, no, I can... I can... That's seven strength. Is seven strength better than... No, I'm decoying that. I'm decoying that. We could play it back. I might even try and lose this round. I might let him win this. Oh, he's decoying. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fine. So that's what we're doing, is it? Okay, that was that was a bit of strength going. <laughs> really? 
This is the game we're playing. This is the game we're playing. I bloody spy. He's been... <laughs> no! There's no way he just passed. Okay, well, you know what? I'm playing this now to get more cards. More cards. Right, that's 13. So what did I get? Um, oh, I got two of these now. That is actually kind of useful. All I need is 13. If I play this, I actually beat him. If I play these two. But maybe it'd be better to just... All I need is 14 points. Eight and a six. Eight and a six, and I win... I win this round outright. Yes. I think so. And then next round, I can medic, take a decoy. Right. Yes. All right, I'm going to win. I'm just, I'm going to win this round because I know I can and I can do so without risk. Voila. That, that wins the round for me. We've both got 11 cards at the end of it. I get an extra one. We've probably got no spies left. We're, uh, we've, we've had a bit of a spy and decoy round, but I've got a medic. I can get my decoys back. Um, I am probably overplaying this just a tiny bit. I have a feeling I'm going to murderalize this poor gentleman. Um, so, yeah, see, hurt, play it instantly, no heroes, choose one card from a discard pile, play it instantly, no, oh, no, 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 right, oh, god, no, 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 it's not, I, for some reason, for some odd reason, I thought she got me two cards, she doesn't get me two, no, I'm gonna wait a while, I, for some reason, some odd reason, I had, I had it in my head that she got me two cards as well, so I could, Use her, get a decoy, use the decoy to get her back, and I would come away one card higher. No, that was... I'm mixing up spies here. I'm mixing up spies. So, let's just... All we need to do is win this round, basically. That's what we need to do, is win this round. And I do have relatively strong cards, so... I'm going to save the medic to see what I need. Right, this is where you're beginning to look interesting. Um, I think all my clever planning there was a bit stupid. I'm, just, I'm probably going to win this because I've got fairly strong cards by the looks of things. And this one's going to destroy his strong card. Crimford Reavers. I mean... Oh, look at that. So I can, that, that that will take out both of his 10s. The only thing that could mess me up now is if he plays an 11. That's it mess me up, because this would then take the 11. At the moment, it's, it could take two 10s, which is very nice. Um, at this point, it's, I, I, there's very little point in me. What, what, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? What, he did, what did he do? What did he, I didn't read that one. Okay. Look at three random cards from your opponent's hand. Oh, he got to see my cards. Does that help him? I mean, I suppose it would. Depends how clever the AI is. Okay, this would make them each eight. So I still they still won't be as high as the tens, which is important. It's important for when I play this card. Biting frosts, not a problem, not a problem at all. Um, I have to decide which of these rows to do the command. Okay, now th this guy's immune to, to this, I think, because he's a hero. I think. Now that doubles up, but he's, he's actually... Actually, there's a point two, two, four. No, it's still worth me removing the weather. Um, so, which card do I want to play and get back? Um, probably just my catapult. Whoa. 
Okay. So we've multiplied those. I'm going to now play this card, which will kill off the two tens, I think. No. Oh, God, it's melee. Oh, no, it's melee only. Oh, that was stupid. It was melee only. Oh, well, whatever. There's, there was nothing I could do then. Um, it was stupid to think that would uh, do anything, but... Right. One card each. I'm worried that his one last card is a weather card. I kind of want to play this. Now, I can... Do I still have to have one card left once to play him? Because last time, when I had him, it ended the round automatically when I still had this card. But there were no weather effects on the board at the time. There were no weather effects on the board. I kind of want to wait to see what his last card is, you see. So, um... To be honest with you, I might not even need the weather effects card, because I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh my god! Wow! I still win. Um, right. Okay. So, enter to apply, yes. Crushed him, crushed him, but only because my cards were strong and my, t my tactics were... My assumptions about some cards were completely off, both the medic and the... Whatever the hell you say, however you say that card. I can't remember how you say that card. However, Welcome. I won. Welcome. And I got the Dol Blathana Scout. More Skoytal. This is good. Right, let's sell him some stuff. What have you got there? Alcohest. Do I need that for anything? Do I need any of these things? Okay, I probably should check my alchemy needs. So long. Dear, oh dear. That really does get annoying. And okay, dude, dude. That was rude. Right, uh, yeah, so I can make albedo. If I make this, if I make some albedo, for example, does that give me access to albedo forever? I, I've got, or do I just make one? That's an interesting thought. That probably just makes one, doesn't it? And I make it from, oh, I don't want to use white gold for that, do I? Okay, for the Reliever's Decoction, I need two more Lesser Red Mutagens, which is unfortunate because Lesser Red Mutagens are just things that I'm not finding. I've got the greens, I've got the blues, but I don't have the lessers. They don't have any reds. In fact, I don't even have a greater red for my um, skills, which is slightly annoying. Still bear fat. Oh, maybe he sells bear fat. I will check. Enhanced draconic oil. I can now make. That's going to use my bear fat, but only one of. I like that. I like that. And I, I think draconids are tougher anyway. But I'm going to see if he sells beast oil. Although, I really could just... Not beast oil. Bear, bear fat. Although, you know, as I said, I could probably go out and kill bears. Just unfortunately, I need a lot of it. Oh, what am I missing there? Albedo for superior element. Right. So let's. So I found something that does need albedo. Let's let's test the theory out. Okay. So I've used albedo. No, it's not. It's a one-off concoction. It's a one-off concoction, unfortunately, and it needs white gull. Unfortunate. But there you go. So I need that for superior elemental oil. And the answer to my question is, no, he does not actually have any of the cordials. So, it's the cordials I'm looking out for so I can make more white gull. So long. Okay. I've just realised I sold a lot of swords and things to him. It was probably foolish, seeing as there is a, um, an armourer. There. Probably he would have paid more for swords and stuff. Need something sharpened, reforged. Uh, oh, and he'll play... I want you to craft something for me. Maybe. Let's check that. But he also plays like Gwent. Craft something for me. This Thank is going can. to annoy some people, but I need the cards because there is a competition coming up and I need the cards for my deck. In fact, I may even have to go out into Velen and play some cards. Right, wrong craftsman. He obviously is um, a, not an armorer. So, silver sword. 
Griffin Silver Sword, level four. Oh, I've already got one of these. Don't I already have a Griffin Silver Sword? Am I not using the Griffin Silver Sword? Or is that one I said I was going to need? Let's have a look. Can I... Can I see what I've got? Yes, I can. I'm using... Adan Daith, which is 174 to 212, right? 174 to 212. He can make... Which is... Oh, okay, that is actually much better. The Griffin Sword. That's one of the ones I was coming here to make, right? I need Meteorite Silver Ingots to make the enhanced one. Oh, got required level 18. Uh, I need to be level 18 for this. But you know what? I think I've got some meteorite silver ingots in my stash. Okay, and the griffin steel sword, which does look better than the one I've got. So let's make that. We're going, we're going, oh, and I can make the griffin enhanced sword, which I couldn't use yet. So don't, for God's sake, do that. Do not do that yet because you need to be level 18. And that would be unfortunate. That requires level 15, but it's actually better. Okay, now, of course, I need to put runes on them. Now, they only have one rune each. So, in actual fact, Headhunter. You know, I have to say, 45% critical damage plus 30 armor piercing. I mean... This does do more damage. Hands down, it does a lot more damage. But this does armor piercing, mind you, I suppose, that more damage through armor anyway. Um, and this does more damage, does a lot more um, experience, which is kind of good. But again, less runes. Mind you, the runes only had a few percent. So what runes have I actually got? I have got plus 2%, poison 2%, lots of 2 percents. 3%. These are the big ones. Armor piercing. Right. I think armor piercing on both of them. Call me crazy, but 20 armor piercing sounds like a good deal for both swords. That way, well, because I like armor piercing. Um, does any of my gear need repairing? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I now have full griffin everything which is kind of cool and where he's in there right cards gwent need something sharpened reforged uh no i actually need to beat the living daylights out of you at gwent and take your card Wouldn't there is this a few rounds of cards big competition one of the things that's a little weird is all my opponents here seem to have Skoytal decks. I suppose that's not weird. People just maybe they just like monsters and Skoytal. It's, it's not. Okay, he's using monsters. Okay, I need that as well. Decoy I like spy. I like um, two spies. Crimford Reavers. They're all pretty good. The worst one here is actually Zoltan to some degree, and Kira. I. Could get a medic, maybe. The Crimford Reavers are pretty good. But five isn't too bad. It's, it's Five isn't the worst. I have got some fours, so it's taking a risk, isn't it? Um, Commander's Horn. It was worth the risk. Okay. And what about Kira? Let's see what we get. For what do we get? Oh. Equivalent strength. Ah, oh, well. Well, this is going to be good with the Crimford Reavers. What the hell? What? 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 Frightener, my turn. Is it just a... Oh, it hasn't got any special abilities. Um, let's start with the Spies. We might lose this round because... Oh, Scorch! Now, what does Scorch do again? I, I gotta... Whoa. Yeah, that, 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 that's... What does Scorch do? Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. That's interesting. That is actually very interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Currently, it's a lot of fives, two fives, but... Okay, what did I get? I got... 
I got... Oh, nice! Holy... Crap. Yeah, now... Should I bother with Scorch this time? Because, frankly, he seems to be kicking my... Proverbial. He's kicking my proverbial, so if I got Scorch here, it would only kill off those, the fives. He would still be 32 ahead of me at this point. I could win that this round. I could, but... Um, yeah, even if I use Scorch, I've got to get 32. I could put 18 from these guys, and then these two would give me um, 20 if I played them. That would essentially give me enough to sort of to, to win the round, or, or I could do these three and then all of these. But then that only leaves me a few for next round. Just to win this round, I'd be down to about the same number of cards as him. Whereas if I pass, I, I think he's only got six cards. He... I know he has this horrible ability to just bring lots of cards out, but I think pass. I think we pass. See what he does. He should pass as well, surely. Right. But I now have 12 cards. Monster Fiction, one randomly chosen card. Okay. He's passed. Re what? He's just passed. He has passed. So I can just play Kira, win this round, and be God knows how many cards ahead. That's idiotic. I've now got 12 cards. He loses this card now. Or doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Does he get it each time? All right, so we've got the same number of cards again. I've won a round. He's way down. And this time... I've got to crush him. No choices, so just play everything you got. Okay, Leshen. He's immune to Scorch, I think. I think. Okay. Oh, I just realised dec Decoy is kind of... Well, but the thing is, is I wasn't expecting him to give up that round so easily, to be honest. I, I, I just, but my decoys are now a complete waste of time, because I can't lose this round. Um, we're just, I mean, it's, it, we're just playing all the cards, leaving the weather one till end. What was that? All my, what, 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 what? Oh, he's just doubled them. That's Commander's Horn, is it? Okay, that's an automatic commander's horn. All right, no problem. He's only got four cards left. Griffin. Scorch does the strongest cards, right? Okay, that's that at the moment. That's good. I can play Scorch and it kills off him. Ice giant. He's got two cards. Commander's Horn again? Oh, little, little worrying, but... Wait a minute. Did mine go down there? I felt like he went down for some odd reason. Oh, no, 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 no! I oh, should have played Scorch, because then I would have got rid of this one and this one, whereas now I'll just get rid of the 12. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, he's passed, so it's now time to Scorch. I think, yes. Bam. So that got rid of 12. We're getting close to being ahead. I'm going to Northern Realms. Oh, this card, he's immune to the weather. He's immune to weather, that. So this, this isn't going to give him any points back. I should now get back in the lead. Bingo! And then, of course, I can also do that. And we're done. 
crushing victory once again. And this time I got a monster card. This I need these cards. I need these cards for the tournament. So what did I get? 20 crowns plus Necker. Okay, my least favorite. Okay, so I've sold the stuff. I've sold the stuff. Quest available? Yeah, I'm gonna go and see the dream woman, but there's a quest. Okay, I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. Um. Oh. There was a board. There was a notice board. I was right next to a notice board. I was right next to a notice board. Strumpet! What happened? Islanders from Skellige. They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken crippled. over? Who's That's that? the... Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Oh god, is this my fault? Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help really? Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Uh, yes, I'll help. It's probably my fault, isn't it? This is the uh, mistress. This is the brothel. And of course, I drove their best product. God, that's awful. Um, their best performer out. Fine, yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Fine, I'll see what I can do. So. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Don't start celebrating yet, I'm afraid. Out on your ass. V to track it? I don't think that works for me. Um, get rid of the drunk Skelligers. I was about to say, should I use... Let's, let's put the oil on my sword just in case. I'm guessing I have to punch them, though. They're in here. Skellig. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Nice helmet. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a skeleton. Uh, let's sell this man to man. Get out of here before or taste my wrath. Be good boy. Right, yes, no, we're doing that. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. I do like that. Hey. Gents, time to go. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, really? I'm the helmets. Noggins. Boys. <laughs> you, you look like you're here for a fancy dress convention. She's just... just... <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't have to fight them. They're kind of... Oh god. Okay, um Okay, no, I've got Is there a dead body? I'm seeing Hey Jackie, you're the oldest. King of the beggars, henchman, Lou Novigrad Longs. Oh, well, that's probably something I dropped, isn't it? And for some reason, yes, right, no, it's not dead body, it's loot. Okay, where's the... she's still outside, right. Oh, okay, I'll give her the good news. That wasn't too difficult. I'm sure whatever I did probably means the establishment will burn Thanks down next so week, but hey, I tried, right? Managed on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. No, 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 I'm pretty sure this was my fault. Keep it. Everything's Keep my it fault. more than I do. Thank the you. war. It's folk possibly my fault. Restore my faith in humankind. Uh, right. Okay. Well, that was relatively simple.
Novigrad's Dreaming. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Novigrad Dreaming. Um, which is over th there. Big City Players win Vimy Vivaldi's unique card. And the board. Now let's go see the dream. Let's go see the dreamer. Let's go see the dreamer and find out what is going on. We can visit the notice board and pick up the Witcher contracts later on. Pretty sure there will be plenty of opportunity to go around stabbing monsters. We've got the minor hiccups. Horson's henchman. I really, really wish people would stop doing that. I find enough of living. Annoys me no end. Okay. Stay away from the shady individual. Have I got to get in there? Can I climb the vines? No. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. Okay. I'm trying to decide why, whether or not I like this person yet. I'm edging towards no. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareem is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The... And why are you standing here? That, that, that... Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Okay, starting to like him more for some odd reason. Um, okay, the house history. Why do you care about it? That's... yeah. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlour. You could just have people squatting, you know. Um. Okay, can I go in? I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Okay, now I'm. Is we're already dependent on the black ones economically. No, I'm liking him. Liking him. Liking him. At first, he sort of felt like a, you know, well, stuck-up rich kid. But, uh, okay, what the hell's over there? Just, I have something on my... Quest available. Another quest available. Okay. However, I think we've already got one. The Mystery of the Giggling Feces Planter. Footsteps. Now this... Okay, that didn't sound like giggling, really, did it? Do you think he'd mind if I, uh... I'm looking for clues. I'm looking for clues. I don't really need bread. Wire. Don't really need wire. Sorry, uh, wire is not a clue. Wire is not a clue. Raspberry juice. Sounds nice. Um, oh. You know what? Steve. Fine. I'm robbing the man. I'm robbing the man. He's rich. And I'm probably doing him a favour, okay? I'm robbing him. Oh. Stop. Go away. Don't do it. Leave it. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to stop looking for clues, and I'm going to start assuming the worst here. 
Let's go with Spectral. There is a basement. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Oh, okay. That looks kind of like Johnny. Wake up, it's just a dream. No, Wake up. it's not. The doll. The attic. Doll. Attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Stop. Go away. Charisma. Nothing else. Leave it. Where would the attic be? Right. That looked distinctly like a godling, didn't it? Yes, it did. Do I have relic oil? Yes, I do. I'm not saying I'm going to have to... Okay, we've got a ladder up there. Please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Nothing else. Take him. No. Okay, so we've got one Stop. ladder up. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Way to the next room's blocked. Yeah, not for long. Get a bit of light going, I suppose. Don't please. Okay. So. I'm thinking also. Still hearing the giggling. There's the doll. There's a piece of paper. And uh, there's a chest. I know I'm a terrible person. Chest with water in it. Let's read the letter first. Drawing of a crib. Okay. Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. It seems. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Something pretty bad, probably, but... Let's go do it anyway, because, you know... That's what we do, isn't it? Where was the cradle? Can I? I'm not seeing a cradle. It said second floor. Oh, oh, that was a cradle down there. Didn't get a very good look at it. Okay. Maybe I should have read up a bit more about the godlings. Yeah. Godlings. Not too long ago, the areas around Peasant Hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh on 
to impossible to spot a brownie, bucket or loot in, and godlings, they were always the first to go. I mean, it might not be a godling, but it definitely looked related, didn't it? Godlins, sometimes mistaken for lutein. Maybe it's a lutein, a woodland creatures. Okay. Is it a lutein? You'll notice there are no how to beat a godling. Right. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy, a riddle. Guess I should find an oven. So, does this mean this little fella's trying to help me? He's leaving clues? Oh, I saw another clue. I need to find an oven, okay. Oh god, that's embarrassing, it really is. Down there? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Seems like we've... Oh, there's an oven there. But I'm wondering if... I'm not supposed to pay attention to the oven. It's the wall. That's why he drew it. Just to get me to see the wall. Fair enough. Okay, this house was built on some horrible grave or temple or something, and thus is haunted horribly. I'm heading away from where my quest marker indicates, but... Oh, for the just... Oh, come on! You're a witcher! How can small steps give you so much trouble? Do I have to actually examine the bricks? My witcher senses... Okay, what the hell is... Examine the oven. I went near it. It didn't give me an option to examine. Re okay. Did it give me an option? Oh, it... Right, okay. Okay. Did I scare you? Tiny bit. Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep. And I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'm not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I know what you are, do I? This is no game. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling. But others might not know, and then... So she is a godling. And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! 
Guess I'll have to throw you out then. No, 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 no. I like godlings. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Okay. Here's the the thing. I'm 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 spending a lot of time lying to people about the monsters I'm not killing. Okay. Could you stop doing that for a while as well? I'm just a little, you know. I'm gonna get a bad reputation, aren't I? I mean, I'm a fake monster slayer. I, I just come in, I pretend, collect the reward, and go. I'm a charlatan. Oh, God. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me? I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you. Very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. Golden right. Sturgeon. See you there. Don't mention any of that to the banker on the way out, if possible. Uh, okay, I may as well, I may as well loot absolutely everything in this place now, because, uh, it's haunted. I really am just, just, I'm just terrible. Pretty much cow's milk. Do I need cow's milk for anything? Do I need mugs? I, we're taking everything. Okay, I now have so many damned ladles and mugs, it's ridiculous. The second sword. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? House is haunted, can't seem to lift the curse. I know why the house is haunted. Uh, should I tell him the truth? No, I made a deal. I made a deal with the godling. I'm not... I'm going to lie to him, but I'm not going to lie to the god. Like, I've got to lie to someone. I've got to be a total... Yeah, a yeah. bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did That's Kareen technically true. dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well... It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Yeah. I sort of feel bad. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black I do. Man. I sort of feel the bad for, for lying to him. I, I don't know why. I mean, he's a rich banker and... What is the quest around there? I'm supposed to be going to see Corinne. But there's a... Let's just... What, what? Let's have a look. Okay, it's on the... It's on the way. Look, you see, the, the best way to get there, rather than go through the muddy dock road, is to is to just swing slowly around here and... Uh, oh, I can pick up her uh, quests. See? Yeah. No, I mean, I do. I feel bad for lying to him, oddly enough. But it's not like he was paying me, apart from all the loot. That took. Oh, here crawls a witcher. Look! The corpse-like visage, the beastly eyes. This is magic that's made a mongrel of a man. What's more? Can I punch him? Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You 
are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? Ooh, I like it. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens. That has no bearing. I asked a lot. you a question. How many? None. There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Walk away. Yeah. That's probably going to come and bite me in the backside as well, isn't it? Everything does. Well, I know why I even expect anything less. Trader. Don't touch me. I wasn't going to touch you. But you stay away from me. You were touching yourself, I noticed. Locked. This is the herbalist. You're a traveler. Whoa, don't touch me. Okay, got it. Got the message. Um, notice board. This is where I was looking for thieves. You seen the new waitress? Come closer. Don't be shy. Oh, we'll we'll find out. Out. Sorry, that I'm some lasses. <laughs> wasn't the pink. Already taken okay. By Personal announcement. Widower, 60 years of age, medium height, above average intellect, possessing a fortune in both species and real estate seeks old maid or childless widow of similar age or somewhat older preferably from landed family it really not really which your business is it? but okay really. preferably from a landed family those interested are requested to send a missive with a faithful engraving of their likeness included to post restaurant Gildorf care of romantic p.s. no response will be given to letters without a full name and valid return address p.s. women of elder races halflings in particular need not Inquire. Okay, that last bit was a bit unnecessary. Couldn't you have just ignored them? I seek a witcher of unsullied reputation. Well, people haven't found out I'm lying yet, so I suppose I classify. Documentation regarding prior achievements and written references preferred. Who will undertake the task of combing the residents of the outskirts of the city recently acquired by the undersigned Count Kurt Dysart in order to dr find and drive off or kill the creature which is haunting it. A sizable reward is guaranteed. Okay. Contract Imp. On behalf of the Merchant's Guild, I hereby announce the following. A particularly bold beast, an imp, to our thinking, has taken to thieving in the market near the city gates. Though it has not yet harmed any humans, this monster has caused a great deal of irrecoverable financial loss. Whoever tracks down and kills this imp shall receive a hefty reward. One free of all taxes in accordance with our Honourable City Councilman's decree numbered blah blah blah. Do not tarry in providing us this assistance. Good people for retail trade is the backbone of a healthy economy, meaning the financial well-being of the city's merchants lies in all your best interests. Beware of the thief. Someone broke into the merchant Gin Longobardi cellar taking out a barrel of triple mead. I was going to say it could have been me, couldn't it? What? Wait, what? I noticed a word. Around the time of the break-in, witnesses saw a thin, bald man rolling a barrel down the street, giggling to himself. The thief was also noticed to be singing a rude song in which he, which he called himself Odrin. If anyone knows the perpetrator's current whereabouts, they had asked to contract the injured party immediately. Odrin! I am still looking for a bloody Odrin. Fist mites, anyone looking to bash some heads will find plenty of worthy ones in our fair city. Those interested in joining the fun, sign up for the tournament. You'll face the most pro these most highly honourable gents. Gorgeous George? Really? Really? We're doing that, are we? Okay. Known as Pile Driver, Archibald, Archibald O'Neill, Captain Iron Mortimer, and Durden. Durden? Oh, really? Okay. Known as the tailor. We're really laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> um, contract monster in the bits. By order of the city council, blah, 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 a reward has been set aside for the killing of the monster which torments, murders residents of the bits. Oh, it's a place after dark. The only acceptable proof of having performed this deed shall be a trophy taken from the monster's body, of course. 
Yes, this means your mother or cousin or aunt's eyewitness testimony will not suffice, nor will the sworn word of any other person, regardless of his or her claimed relationship to you, the hierarch or anyone else, and also without caring one whit for his or her alleged trustworthiness, which supposedly can be attested to by anyone at your favourite drinking hall. For more information and or to collect the reward, see District Superintendent for the Bits, Lund, by writ of the council, City Council Superintendent of the Bits, Lund. That rings a bell, the name, but I just, I love the way he wrote that. Okay. So we've got a few... Excuse me. I'm going to take that one as well, just in case it triggers something. Um... Let's have a look. What appeared. Right, so we've got something bent. That is doors slamming shut. We will ignore that. We have got an elusive thief. Okay, and ironically, uh, Gorgeous George is pretty much where we're going. We're not going to fight him, though. We're, we're, we're too busy. That's the thing. We're, um, we're, we're, we're way too busy to, uh, to, to meet uh, George. Yes, we are. Yes, indeed. Way too busy, indeed. So we're going to meet Corrin at the Golden Sturgeon, following the thread, new quest. Have I got anything else I can see on the minimap? Nothing. I believe the sun is going down. Is it rude to call on a lady this late at night? Says Geralt, the, the, Geralt, the gallant. Okay. Wait. Have I? Okay, these these are just random notices. Okay. Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Okay. I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Uh, time you went home. Let me pack. No, <sighs> don't have a, have a round. Fine, take this. Go on and That's get. That's what I call loyalty to the guild. To the guild. Thank you, master. I'm not a butch. We I'm a butcher. Want no, you are. Yeah, you do that. Just. I'm Santa Claus, Scandalous. spreading goodwill and stuff like that. Okay. Burgers and purchasers of the free city of Novigrad. Talk to master Captain Kate Wolverstone. Hello. May I? Depends what with. Looking for someone who'll sail to Skellige and take me. No, I'm not. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Well, can we talk about this? I got a thousand. I'll pay you. No. Gotta get some more. Gotta get some more. Ooh. Gotta get more coin. Yeah, no. You sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, I just. Oh, yeah. Look for that's, your kind oh, that's what we got. In key. What'll it be? Cards? We can play cards. Show me what you got. Uh, we can play cards later. We can play cards later. Show me what you got. What are you serving? Do you have any cordial? That's what I'm looking Mandrake cord. I can't remember which bloody cordials I, I needed. Oh, you've also got cards. I'm gonna buy the cards. I'm gonna buy the cordial, even though I'm not sh uh, Cherry cordial I need. Cherry cordial I need. Did I need enough guardian? No. Did I need anything else? I don't think so. Right, let me, tr let me sell some crap to you. Hopefully, if that's okay. What else will you buy? You will buy, you'll buy the Noonwraith trophy? I mean, I'm not really selling it, but you've got a lot of money. Will you buy? You will buy food, of which I've got tons of. So feel free. Here, have my dumplings. Do not crack a rude joke. 
Okay, that didn't really net me very much money. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come down and play this guy cards later on, I guess. I definitely need... Oh. Master... No, I do not want to challenge anyone. I'm looking for... Ah, it's downstairs. Downstairs. Excuse me. Excuse me. Probably downstairs. Who's that over there? We got someone. Someone over there. That's... That's... Uh, that is... George, isn't it? That is George. Don't want to fight George. Put your pants on. Put all your clothes on. Um, am I in the wrong place? I'm, I've, I've got to... Golden Sturgeon. Is this not the Golden Sturgeon? It, oh. Well, it said up. It said up. Oh, no, it still says up. It still says... Ah, there's another... Right, okay. There's another set of stairs. There I go. Didn't see the stairs up. Okay, and is this her room? Which one? I think this one. Hello. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Dreaming, okay? Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this, and though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Okay. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Um, I remember when we first met. I trained her at Cair Morin, saved her life once. She was there when I died. I remember when we first met. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing, caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory though, is of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes. Yes, I think so. Can I just... In that case, I'm listening. And... 
It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Syria her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Well, I think we only have one thing left. I have more to say. Did I'm someone just come to... in? Oh, we're in. Of course we're in. in. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Okay. Shall I tell her about everything? She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. One last thing. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? I don't no. think there is any more. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion, Yennefer and Triss? I think Dandelion. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Okay, what is he wearing? Okay, what, what? He's arguing with a bird? Okay, he's being chased by a bird. No? No, he's still arguing with a bird. 
like a small child. Is the bird Siri? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at That's first. That's Siri. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. Okay. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rose. They left him an inn? The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Okay, that kind of sounds about right. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Okay. So, we've got to find... Okay, we got to find Dandelion. And have a word with him. Well, we're going to have a word with him about his outfit, first of all. 